From the first time I saw ya, you were not like the others. A cool kind of melody. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's a girl here, Sharonda Simone, and I'm back with another video. So today I am doing a super chatty get ready with me makeup edition. I'm going to be playing in some pinks and some mauve colors. I feel like it's a really cute springtime look. So I'm priming my face first with that facial priming mist and then I'm going in with this first aid pore primer. I'm trying to see what I like so far, but I tend to double prime just because of my oily skin and all of that. So Okay, no, I don't have very thick eyebrows. I have thick hair, okay, as in like density wise underneath my wig. <laughs> very, very dense hair, but the actual strands are fine. So for me, if I don't draw on my eyebrows, it's like I don't have any eyebrows. And so I'm thinking about, let me just hear me out, guys. I'm thinking about doing the temporary eyebrow tattoo. Now, I am not into regular tattoos. This is not something that I am into, but when my nail tech told me that she has been doing, you know, the temporary eyebrow type procedure, I saw a couple of people that she actually did the procedure on, and I was like, hmm, that might be something that I have to invest in because it supposedly lasts for like six to eight months. Let me tell you something. If I could wake up and have eyebrows every morning without having to do all this extra stuff, you couldn't tell me anything, you know? Like, literally, see me, but don't see me. Like, talk to me, but don't talk to me. Because eyebrows, look at that. Just with some eyebrows, I'm like a whole new person. A whole new lady. So, I'm really thinking about it. I don't know. $200, not a bad investment, but I mean, it's it's still money, you know, but if it lasts that long, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. What I did was I put on my eyebrows and then I am using some of that, oh gosh, Pro Concealer, the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn, I believe is my color. It blends really well with my skin. I've had that thing for so many years. I am squeezing out the tube, as you could see in that previous clip. Okay, and then I'm just using some concealer that is a lighter color, just trying to, you know, just give my eyeshadow a base because my eyelids are so very oily. So I'm trying to do something that will help to cut down the oil so that my eyeshadows last longer. I do have an eyelid primer, it's very old and it just doesn't seem to work as well. I need to get another one. Okay, so I'm using my Mented Palette going in with Tandemonium. This color is really great just as a transition color a really good you know lid base for my skin tone i really really like the mented everyday palette i probably grab this thing every time i do a makeup look because there is always a color that i can use in there and then to deepen i'm going in with oh gosh what color was that oh red bone red bone yeah so as you can see that is what we have right there look at that Let's just look at the eyebrows. They're not even perfect because I am not a professional, but already, ah, eyebrows make a difference. Okay, so my thought process was to go in with this light beige color with the LA Pro Concealer, but it was so old. I had never used it. Yep, so it didn't come out. So I grabbed this Tarte Shape Tape instead. And my whole process with this step was just to try and make the eyeshadows pop more because the pink colors that I'm using are in an eyeshadow palette that is not very pigmented, but I have it, so I figured I might as well use it. Um, if I had some higher quality eyeshadows, I probably would not have to do this step, but I don't, so that's what we're doing. Okay, so this palette right here, I believe I got it a few years ago from like TJ Maxx or something. It's super cheap. Um, and like I said, I do have to do quite a few things just to make the eyeshadow stand out. And that brush is not dirty. It actually has pink bristles in case you were wondering. Okay. 
so let me know what you guys have been up to it is now march 2021 i cannot believe how quickly the year is going by i feel like 2020 just blew by you know i know i'm the, not the only one who thinks that but 2021 it seems like it's moving right along uh, so far everything is going well with me you know just a lot going on with the family you know five kiddos working full-time, seeing patients. Right now, I'm actually seeing patients three ways, so face-to-face -face or in office, as well as by video and then by telephone. So it does get super hectic just trying to manage patients because as a podiatrist, doing you know virtual medicine or telemedicine, I should say, you know, it's not always easy, but I do appreciate the fact that I have the opportunity to still care for my patients you know, even if I can't see them person to person or in person. Okay, now right there, you can see how blending is important. That's blended, that is not. We don't want any harsh lines. So I'm just taking this fluffy brush without any product and just blending and blending and blending. And then I'm going back in with some more of the Tandemonium, I believe, and that fluffy brush again, you know. I felt as though my lighting was just not doing right. So it looked like my eyes were lopsided, but in real life, it didn't look like that. So that's why I was frustrated. Okay, so I figured that my eyelids needed a little something more. So I grabbed that face setting spray, sprayed a little brush, and I found some loose powder, that kind of glittery powder. And I do think it added a little whimsy to the look. I think it was very pretty and I'm glad I did that. It definitely gave some more dimension to my eyeshadows. All right, now if this is your first video that you're watching, thank you so much for stopping by, welcome. Hope you are enjoying it. Be sure to drop me a comment down below so I can say hello, introduce yourself. I love to chat it up in the comment section. All right, so I really like the Mented Skin Foundation Sticks. I honestly like foundation sticks better than liquid foundation. Again, I am no makeup guru, but I just find that they're easier to use, very easy to blend, and I'm using my damp beauty sponge again just to blend that out, and it is like creamy, creamy, so easy to blend, you guys. And it does have buildable coverage, I don't believe it is full coverage in my opinion. I don't think it is because you can still see a lot of my blemishes as well as my natural moles peeking through. But for me, I don't need a perfect coverage. You know, that's just not something that I need. I actually do like it to look a bit more realistic, you know, even though you know I'm wearing makeup, but not like a porcelain, you know, look. That's just my preference. Okay, so now I'm going in with my concealer again. And I like to use a concealer underneath my eyes like to, you know, highlight that is almost like a, a golden brown color because I feel like it matches my skin tone. And then I do like to set it with some banana powder. For me, I haven't found a translucent powder that works really well. So I like to have one that, you know, has like a warm tone to it. So the yellow tones in this, that, you know, does a good job. And I don't necessarily bake. I literally just press it into my skin yeah she's happy <laughs> all right so now i am going to go in with this black opal contour stick and i like to use it because it has a little red undertone and i actually don't mind that even though my undertone is more yellow for some reason the red undertone in this brown works so now i'm going to shave some pounds off of my face look at that you can't tell me that I'm not losing weight, okay? <laughs> All right, so I'm just kind of going over some of the blemishes that were exposed after I did my contouring. And now I'm going to set everything with my Black Opal Mosaic Powder. You guys, look, it's almost done. I actually just went ahead and bought some new face powders as well as some new matte and pore 
um, poreless type foundation and powders and I believe they're by Maybelline so I am going to do a video about that because I know a lot of my viewers have oily skin so I'm gonna see how they work but it's the Maybelline fit me mattifying you know pore minimizing makeup so I'm excited to see how that works because all of the products that I'm using here they do have like a dewy finish which I like that but my skin is also very dewy and oily anyway so you know I do have to blot throughout the day so I would like to be able to use something where I don't have to do as much blotting so we'll see how that makeup works Girl, I was like, what's wrong? Oh, okay, yeah, my eyebrow. Mm, we'll fix it. Don't worry. It's a process. Yeah, so I'm just putting some colors under my waterline area to just, you know, kind of complete the look, as I hear people say. It does make a difference, though. I do notice a difference. All right, and then for my eyebrows, I'm just filling them in with this brow brush oh my gosh which one is that i don't even remember but i'll link it down in the description box sometimes i just use that alone like if i'm in a rush i'll just use that little brush with the brow gel on there because it just works really well okay all right yes yes we're coming to the end so far so good i'm liking it i'm proud of myself especially you know because i really just started playing in makeup and trying to be intentional with my looks <laughs> took me long enough okay all right so now i'm going in with this highlighter this highlighter is wet and wild uh with fergie and i like it because it has like pinkish gold tones which just gives me the best glow ever every time i use this people always comment on my instagram pictures facebook pictures like oh my gosh your skin is glowing yeah is this cheapy cheapy highlighter <laughs> okay and now i'm putting on blush yay i like blush mommy always told me to put some blush by my temples so that's what i do because mommy says to do it all right you guys if you follow my channel you know that a few months ago i talked about the magnetic eyelashes still love them still use them but i ran out of the magnetic liner so i need to go ahead and get some more so that's why i have not been wearing my magnetic eyelashes that's the only reason because i need to get some more of the magnetic liner so for now we're just going with our our natural along with mascara now this day i actually did a good job on my liner usually mm, it is cray cray it must have been the camera so we're putting on mascara if you guys are enjoying this video go ahead and spam the comment section let me know what you enjoyed about the video let me know what you're up to what is going on with your new year resolutions all right it's march keep going don't give up you might have had a pause taken a break you might feel tired but keep going don't give up okay i'm um, also too. go ahead and hit the like button if you've been enjoying the video and then if you haven't already subscribed let me tell you why you should subscribe okay first of all i do motherhood videos christian lifestyle videos beauty product reviews and baby product reviews so you should subscribe if you like that kind of content and if you are a returning subscriber thank you you know how much i really appreciate you Ooh, there she is okay Sharonda Simone. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button with your bell notifications. Until next time, remember, I am Sharonda Simone, and I will either see you at the top or from the top. You decide. Bye.